Hello world, I speak on the migrant cry. You think about it, let's talk. One of the heartbreaking issues of uh, contemporary migration and immigration are the numbers of people who are trying to leave the current situation of political, economic, and social strife in order to cross oceans, taking their lives, placing them with people smugglers, and moving across shores into places they believe are safer and better for them. Unfortunately, many of them die. Uh, actually, thousands of people die trying to pay the people smugglers and go across the ocean hoping to find a whole new future. Spiritually speaking, this happens to us as well. We are not particularly satisfied with our current situation in the home, in the country, in the place that we are in spiritually. And deep inside our heart, we know that we need to migrate. And yet, the odds are daunting. Even if we take the risk, there is no guarantee that we'll get to the other side. In the Europe boat migration, there was an article which talked about the cruel seafarers. Merchant ships who turn off their radios so they'll keep from hearing the cries of those who are drowning. Those who had the potential to save people who needed to be saved were turning off their radios so they couldn't hear the cries and they wouldn't hear the shouts and somehow feel protected and safe and smug. Spiritually speaking, that's what religions do. They're not hearing your cry. They even cannot hear your cry. Having ears, they cannot hear you. Having eyes, they cannot see you. Religions are simply people smugglers. You pay them a lot by your ritual, by your routine, and then you try to migrate uh, to hope and forgiveness and help. It never happens. May I suggest to you that there is one who has not turned the radio off. He welcomes you with open arms, the God of heaven, comes to you through his son and says, I want you to come. My shore is open, my radio is on. I can hear your hearts cry. Come to me. All you who are weary and heavy, burdened and needing rest, come to me and I will receive you. You don't have to pay him anything because he already has enough. He's a God of heaven, so he's not a people smuggler. He's really the people's savior. Your savior and my savior. He will not turn the radio off. He hears your heart's cry. And he says, migrate to me. Migrate to me. I'll give you hope and I'll give you a future. I will rescue you forever. You think about it. Let's talk about it. Thank you.